This is GlueNet, Global Local Universal Network for dense fluent correspondences. We address the challenge of dense pixel-wise correspondence estimation for pairs of images. Given a source and target image, our network takes as input both and outputs a 2D flow field that aligns the source image with the target. Briefly in GlueNet, we combine local and global correlation players to be robust to both long and small range displacements, and we also introduce a strategy to take as input any image size. It allows us to create a unified network applicable to all three tasks of optical flow, geometric matching and semantic matching. This is contrary to other networks that are specialized in only one task. This is a sequence that shows consecutive frames with real 3D motion, and so we evolve the source towards the target. And we see that our glue net is highly accurate on both small and long-range displacements. Besides, it can even match with an extreme appearance variations like here or here. Thank you. This paper proposes a learned video compression approach with hierarchical quality and recurrent enhancement. The proposed framework has three hierarchical layers compressed with high, medium, and low quality respectively. At the decoder side, a recurrent enhancement network is utilized to improve the compression quality. At the encoder side, the high quality frames provide high quality references to benefit the compression of other frames. At the decoder side, the low quality frames can be enhanced by using the advantages information in high quality frames, without bitrate overhead. This results in an efficient video compression. The proposed approach outperforms the existing learned approaches and the LDP very fast mode of X265 in terms of both PSNR and multi-scale SSIM. Please refer to our paper, supplementary material, and the project page for more details and analysis. Thank you for your attention. Pruning and filter decomposition are among the most popular network compression methods. Thus, to unify the two, we propose group sparsity, the hinge between filter pruning and decomposition for network compression. Pruning compresses by nullifying columns of the weight matrix and reduces the number of output channels. On the other hand, filter decomposition approximates the weight matrix with two low rank matrices. Typically, different methods are required for each compression method. This is why we developed group sparsity for compression. We add a null sparsity inducing matrix A, enforcing group sparsity on the columns of A nullifies columns and leads to pruning. Similarly, group sparsity on the rows of A nullifies rows and leads to filter decomposition. Thus, both techniques are unified in the same algorithm simply by changing the way the regularizer acts. To solve the optimization problem, we propose a novel proximal grading based solver. We achieve new state-of-the-art results for various networks on multiple datasets. Hello, I'm Vespina and I'm happy to present our work on unsupervised learning of hierarchical part decomposition of 3D objects. Existing shape representations focus on recovering the local 3D geometry of an object without considering its part-based decomposition or relations between parts. In this work, we propose a novel method that allows to jointly recover the geometry and the Latin hierarchical structure of an object as an unbalanced binary tree of primitives, where simple parts are represented with fewer primitives and more complex parts with more. 
our model is learned in an unsupervised fashion without any part-level supervision. Evaluations on Shapenet and Dynamic Faust show that considering the organization of parts improves the reconstruction quality. Our learned hierarchies have a semantic interpretation as the same node is consistently used for representing the same object part. Check our project page for code and additional results. Thank you. The idea of this paper is to do lossless compression using the powerful lossy compression algorithm BPG. This is motivated by the fact that BPG achieves very high PSNR, meaning that the residual R between the lossy reconstruction and the input is clustered around zero. We store this residual as follows. First, we encode X using BPG and obtain the lossy image XL. We save it to the bitstream. Then we feed XL to a learned CNN that predicts the probability distribution P of R given XL. Now we can encode the residual using this probability distribution with arithmetic coding. This produces another bitstream, encoding R. To decode, we first get XL from the bitstream and feed it again to the CNN. We get P of R given XL and can recover R with arithmetic coding. Summing R and XL yields X. This results in a lossless compression scheme that outperforms all previous methods on open images. This paper proposed a end-to-end trainable and fully network which leverage both language-based methods and model-based methods. The motivation is that the study of learning a single deep model for classical deputation model it is still lacking. Inspired by a half quadratic split algorithm, the proposed US net can handle the classical deputation, where a single model as it takes the scale factor for the kernel and slows the level as input. US net consists of three main modules data model, prime model, and hyperparameter model. The experiments PSI results and the real results are provided. In addition, the land data model, prime model, and the hyperparameter model are analyzed. Moreover, the generalizability is discussed, and the results on big-big adaptation are reported.